What's up guys, looking fresh, looking clean. Just got a cut yesterday. Um, so yeah, today uh, we're gonna go check out some hedges uh, for an ongoing client. We normally cut his lawn. Uh, they used to do their hedges. Uh, they want us to start taking over. So I'm gonna go do an initial uh, cleanup uh, fee because uh, they haven't been done in a while and then an ongoing um, fee for them a monthly ongoing fee so they'll get that today um, and then we're gonna go check out another house from a client a returning client uh, we haven't been there in a few months she wants us to uh, cut her, one of her properties she has two um, so we're gonna go check the conditions of it uh, before cutting it and then um, give her that that quote if she's good with it then we'll be there today um, just because we are in the area today, coincidentally. Um, so yeah, that's what we got lined up, guys. Uh, stay tuned. If something else comes up, I'll throw it your way. Um, I am staying active on estimates and looking for new cli um, new clients. Um, so yeah, uh, last week of the uh, ongoing season. Uh, next week is already the first week of winter break for us. Um, so let's see how it goes. Uh, hopefully we stay active during the winter. Um, obviously not as active, but active. Uh, we always want to stay active guys. Uh, cause you know, we do have, uh, employees on payroll, um, you know, and they need to, uh, pay bills even through the winter. And, uh, so do I, so, <laughs> you know, all right, guys, here's the, uh, property with the, um, uh, the hedges that we're going to start taking over. Um, as you can see, they haven't been done in some time so we are going to give them an uh cleanup fee initial cleanup fee to get started and then an ongoing rate Yeah, we'll probably get with the guys too. Um, here, they're around the neighborhood where I'm doing SMS. I'll probably go help them out with two real quick, then keep going, and then meet up with them later on. Uh, just because it is two guys, and they're doing about 21 today, um, so I like to help them out when they have that that much to do with just two of them. Um, like I stated in the, the video before, um, one of the guys having to leave early, a week early, uh, before the winter time, so we still have a lot of lawns to get done. Uh, but next week it'll change and uh, they'll be able to hack the work because they'll be in the teens. Uh, they won't be doing 20 some lawns no more. All right. All right, guys. Um, here we're going to have a time lapse of um, us doing two properties. Um, this property here you're looking at is a maintained property that we've been doing throughout the whole year. Um, and then we just picked up the one across the street. Uh, it'll be our second service there. Um, that one's not too maintained. Um, they park their cars on the lot. They have a lot of cars. Um, they have a dog in the back. The digs a lot of holes and there's a lot of dirt spots. So, um, you know, that's mainly, uh, you know, just keep it down so that the grass doesn't get overgrown type of cut. Um, so it's not going to be as prestige as uh, this one here you're looking at. But um, we won't turn the client down um, for those reasons. Um, they want to hire us. Um, because they obviously don't want an overgrown lot, then um, we'll, we'll definitely help them out with that. Um, and then we do have both sides, the right side and the left side of the property, um, and we keep them back because if not, it'll get overgrown. All right, so enjoy.
All right, guys. Here uh, we are at the property where um, it's been a few weeks since we've come, uh, a few months probably. Um, so they called us back to service it again. Um, I'm already noticing the edge isn't as sharp as as usual. Uh, the length of it is pretty long, uh, so it's just on the more on the uh, overgrown side, and there's uh, grass grass growing all in the cracks. Um, of the driveway and you can see uh, grass is riding up this side of the house there so it hasn't been getting trimmed good uh, whoever has been um, servicing it hasn't been doing a good job okay so peeked over the fence wasn't really able to get it open um, and uh, you know the hedges back there you can tell right away um, have been let go too but um with this particular client um even when we were servicing the yard it wasn't hedges included um they would let it go and then ask us to do a cleanup um every every so often so um i'll go ahead and include that in the estimate as a separate estimate see if she wants to get them done this time um so i'm gonna walk around to the other side here you see these hedges too have been let go um, all the rock beds need to be edged and sprayed down and then you can see the hedges touching the roof from where I'm at and then we'll get on this side and it's so overgrown the hedges and it's just, I just didn't even go to the back stayed my distance I can really see how the condition was um, a lot of weed eating overgrown grass so at this point, I uh, have already come up with a number and I'm going to head back to the truck, contact the client and let them know. Our website, iHeart.com slash HBCU. I got a... Uh, so yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's the uh, property where uh, we haven't been there for a few weeks now, uh, over a month. And the client called back and said she wants a cut so as you can see it's pretty let go I couldn't get to the back back because there's a uh, it was blocked on both both sides uh, one gate wouldn't open and the other side was uh the hedges were too overgrown so uh, uh on this one this is a realtor's property she rents it so she doesn't have full service here she doesn't have us uh, upkeeping the hedges monthly um she just uh asks us to do them whenever she wants them done and she pays a cleanup uh, fee every time we do them because they always get pretty bad uh, like they are right now so I'll text this client and um, I'll ask her if we're gonna do the hedges and then I'll also inform her that she's gonna pay a cleanup fee for the grass because um, the back from what I can see is overgrown um, there's gonna be a lot of weed trimming um, a lot of weeds are coming up in places that we're going to take down um, and the front too is pretty high and same conditions with trimming and stuff like that and uh, driveway we got clean out the driveway um, the edge ain't, ain't too bad, but uh, it's going to take a little extra work to get the edge done. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for that property. Uh, we are now going to uh, another property where um, we haven't started the, this property yet. I uh, did an estimate for her uh, last month. Um, and uh, we we're going to get her started. Um, well, I did an estimate, estimate for her two or three weeks back. But she was having sod put in, a new driveway, new fence, um, new uh, irrigation. So she had a, a, a big project going on. Um, so we were going to get her started on um, the second week of November. Um, but most of the stuff is done, she's telling me. And she wants me to pass by now to see if maybe uh, it's ready to get started on the first week of November. Um, since the sod she put down is getting long, she said. So we're going to pass by there, take a look, and um, and then uh, get back with that client and let them know uh, what what we're going to do, what our plan is. All right. So Austin called me and let me know that they're at the four properties. Um, I was actually close by on my way to the property for the uh, new service, the new client. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, help the guys out first with the... Uh, trimming over here since they've already gotten started on edging and mowing um, and then I'll be on my way to that other property so enjoy uh, 
this um, time lapse of us doing uh, four, four properties. Right, guys so that was some footage of me helping the guys out uh we knocked out four in that, that area um not sure how long it took us um pretty sure it was less than an hour like i said yeah i got started before i got there maybe 10 minutes and i probably spent a total of 40 30 40 minutes there with them um i am now here at the uh, new client's house uh we're gonna see if she's ready to start mowing so here it goes Alright guys, so we are at the uh, new client's house. Um, 
they uh, removed two trees in the front yard and put down new sod, leveled it, put down new sod. Um, another company did it. Uh, first thing I noticed when I got here that was the, the sod was very dry. Um, it looked like it hasn't been watered for some time. So I let the client know that um, they are not watering enough. Um, that they want to maintain the sod uh, moist throughout the entire day. Um, so they're aware of that and they're going to start watering more now. Um, it has grown in. Um, I normally like waiting three to four weeks before I, we cut sod, but um, she seems like she's kind of uh, in a rush to get it done already. So this would be a high cut push mow lawn um, next week. Um, hedges will get done as well. Edge, all that. Um, she is paying for full service. Um, but yeah, we will not put a uh, heavy commercial more on there for the next month, month and a half. Um, just till the, the grass takes, the sod takes. This is the backyard. Backyard is pretty basic. Um, they ran pipes everywhere because they did irrigation. So that's all those, um, all those uh, markings on the floor. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it um, for this property. Um, nothing much else to, to look at. I just wanted to make sure uh, what we were going to get done when we came. Um, and it is saturated, guys. You see the sidewalk? It hasn't rained in, the, in this area since maybe the yesterday. Every time I come to see this property, though, it's saturated like that with water. So it does hold a lot of water in it. All right. All right, fans. That's it for today. Here's my lunch. Love me some Chipotle. And uh yeah, so if you love Chipotle, subscribe. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh guys, subscribe, hit that bell, leave a comment, and if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. Peace.